Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Ontario Soil Network and the Mosaic Company. Welcome to Soil School. I am Bernard Tobin. Today I'm joined by Omafra Soil Management Specialist Jake Monroe. Hey Jake, thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome, Bernard. Nice to be here. Hey, we're going to talk soil tests today and uh, and how growers can use the new Soil Test Manager app from the Ontario Soil and Crop Improvement Association to, to, to better understand soil test information. And Jake, a new app um, sounds like a great idea. Tell us, tell us about how it came together. I know you worked on it and uh, what you and OSCIRA are trying to achieve. Yeah, for sure, Bernard. So it, it's really about education. So this tool is meant to be simple, uh, quick to use. And it, the idea came about a few years ago. So myself and, and my former colleague, Christoph Kessel, who was recently retired, he was the cell fertility specialist for horticulture. And particularly with the wide array of crops that he dealt with uh, on the hort side of things, really saw the value in bringing our fertility, our Ontario fertility recommendations all into one place. So that's where it started a few years ago is, you know, thinking, can we bring all of those recommendations that are currently held in a variety of different publications? And as a grower or an agronomist, you need to go look those up separately. Can we pull that into one spot that's easy to use? Talk about what, what's, what's there, I guess, uh, Jake. I mean, like, you know, fertilizer recommendations, you know, best management practices, you know, just demystifying soil tests sometimes. Sure. So in terms of the Soil Test Manager app, it's really focusing on the accredited soil test for Ontario. So that includes phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, pH, of course, um, as well as a couple of the micronutrients, zinc and manganese. Uh, and to me, those are the those are the places to start. So that's the important uh, place to begin when you're looking at a soil test. You know, first, you need to address pH through liming. Next, look at your macronutrients like phosphorus and potassium. Those are going to be the real big yield limiters if you're if you're deficient. Uh, so really it's about, and this app is all about being able to empower the grower to better understand what those numbers mean when they get a soil test back. And I know from speaking to growers over the years that, um, there's a real range in comfort in, in being able to interpret those numbers. And I think there's a real sense of, um, empowerment, a sense of kind of being in the driver's seat when you know what those numbers mean and you really know what to do with them. So the soil test manager app, uh, that, that is hosted by Ontario Soil and Crop Improvement Association is really focused on providing not only the recommendations, but the explanation behind those numbers. Good stuff, Jake. Hey, why don't you pull it up on your screen and take us for a test drive? Okay, so we're on the Soil Test Manager website. The important thing to note is that Soil Test Manager is a web-based app. In other words, it's a website that you go to and then you can pin it to your homepage on your smartphone or on your iPad. It's not a traditional app in the sense that uh, you don't go to the Apple store uh, to download it. So you just go to the website and then you're able to use it as an app. So here we're on the homepage. And the first thing to note is that we've got a Know Your Soil Test tab. I'd recommend starting at the Know Your Soil Test tab and just taking a quick look. This is the overview. This provides some basic information on any kind of soil test result that you'd get back. Nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium are accredited soil tests. And you can see here that there's some basic information that we provide on, on each of those analyses. pH as well has some background information, tells you a little bit about liming, what buffer pH means, and, and how, we, how we can address magnesium, for example, if magnesium is an issue with low pH as well. Once you've taken a spin through the Know Your Soil Test tab, go back to the calculator and start playing around with it. So here we've got uh, corn selected, but as you can see, you could select from any number of field crops, and we've got the whole list here. If you're a vegetable grower, we've also got a, a complete list of, uh, of vegetable crops that you can choose from uh, that's quite comprehensive. So in this example, we're gonna select corn. We've got our example field, and I've entered my email, and here we've got a set of soil test results that have been entered. So soil test results that really aren't all that different from ones that I see all the time. We're kind of on the lower end for phosphorus and we're certainly down below 100 for potassium. So we've got a soil that has some nutrients that need to be addressed. We've also in this case have entered a soil pH that's 
down below six. So we've got a soil pH of 5.8, and we're going to have a buffer pH with that. That should show up on your soil test. And so we've entered those two values, and then we're going to select a, a target pH of seven. Now we're going to click get results. And here we can see that we've got our full set of results for P and K. There's no result. Uh, there's no recommendation in this case for magnesium, but we do have a liming recommendation of six tons tones per hectare. Good feature about Cell Test Manager is that you can switch from metric to imperial. So here I'm going to click get results, and now I've got my recommendation recommendations in imperial. Once you've got those results and you've taken a look through them, and again you can click on the info button for a little bit more information. Click the email results button. And that's going to result in an email being sent to you automatically, and that will be in PDF format. So the Soil Test Manager app provides lots of opportunities to play around with different crops, but ultimately it's a snapshot and it's a single soil test result at a time. So it's meant to be a, a quick tool to use to get a second opinion or to just confirm the recommendation you've been given. The next feature and a feature that we're really proud of, both the OMAFRA and Ontario Soil and Crop Improvement Association is the 4R tool. And here you can see we've got a 4R tool um, for both phosphorus and nitrogen. And I'll take a quick spin through the, the phosphorus tool. Here in this case, we're gonna use a granular product. We're gonna select the timing. So in this case, we're, we're gonna say that we're applying that phosphorus at planting and we're applying it as either an infer or banded application. I'm gonna submit that and I'm gonna get a rating out of four. So here with this scenario, we've got a four star rating. We've got phosphorus being applied at planting in a band, and that's considered a really good four hour practice. We've also got a little bit of information that goes along with it. On the other hand, if an application had been made in the non-growing season, say in October or November, and it had been broadcast without incorporation, if I submit that result, we're gonna get a one star rating. And so in this case, we're going to get a little bit of information to go with that, and we're being told that the risk of loss through runoff and tile drains is high. So it just provides the user a bit of information to help guide this decisions around uh, nutrient application, specifically around the timing and application method. Same goes for nitrogen. Uh, you can select a product. In this case, I'll select urea. I'm going to select uh, pre-plant timing. And in this case, we're going to incorporate that material. And we've got a, we've got a a good rating, a decent rating of two and a half out of four stars. And again, we can click on the info button for more, uh, for more information on that. If we don't incorporate that urea pre-plant, however, and again, we're talking about a corn application here, we're gonna get a one out of four star rating. And I think many people would agree that a, a pre-plant application without any stabilizer not incorporated is not a good practice. And that's reflected in the rating of, for our four hour rating in this situation. Okay, Jake, hey, some great stuff there. Hey, final question for you is, you know, how do you integrate um, the the Soil Test Manager app now with your soil test? If I'm a grower and I've got I've got my hands on both, how do I put them together? So what I'd recommend for growers is to use the Soil Test Manager app as a as a quick check, um, really as as kind of your first place to go look uh, when you get those results back. Quickly enter those numbers, take a look at what the recommendations are that come back at you and just take a moment and see if they make sense to you. And if they don't, there's lots of opportunities on the app, on the website to find more information, get a little bit more interpretive information and background to ensure that you understand uh, what your results are telling you. So that's how I recommend it. It's a quick and simple tool to use to get a second opinion or a quick first glance at what your soil test results mean. And then, you know, of course, work with your agronomist, work with your retailer, to develop your, your nutrient management planning, your fertility planning across the farm. Um, and so I think that Soil Test Manager is a great tool to, to augment that planning on a farm level. And it's all there at uh, SoilTestManager.ca. Jake, thanks for dropping by. Always great to have you on the Soil School. You're very welcome. Look forward to the next time, Bernie.